live from a corner of Austin, known as the Edible Dick Industrial Complex, where bachelor reparations are offered, it's going to be a great night. So, my crotch hates a bicycle, and ooh, my balls. Because here are your hosts, Brian Rushwood and Justin Robert Young! Whoa, 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 Hey, buddy. Whoa. Hey, buddy. Hey. 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 Sorry, I, 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 you know why I pulled you over, right? No, I'm sorry, uh, 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 officer, I don't. Well, it's because uh looks to me like you're sharing some of them Netflix passwords. Damn. Now, listen. Uh, it's- uh, look, uh, I, I got a very good explanation for it. Oh, good. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm all ears. Uh, in fact, I did better in life voice. than my hey, college Reed Hastings, friends. Come on over here. You're gonna want to hear this one. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I, uh, and look, this was an upset. I did better in life than my college friends. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so uh, they got my password, right? Because like, who else am I gonna talk about these shows with? Right, but but per the terms of service, you didn't give it to them. They must have stolen it, right? Uh, uh, you know. Do we ask the the uh, uh, sunflower how it spreads its pollen? Uh, uh, do do we do we ask the 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 wind how it distributes it? Uh, I don't know. Look, there are some things that that uh, science is still working on the answer for. Uh, I would like to take your class, sir. I'm giving yeah. up working for Netflix, and I want to follow you. Welcome. To the Justin Robert Young way to bullshit your uh, way out of anything. <laughs> uh, uh, just keep talking and eventually people will stop bothering you. <laughs> okay, then what? We're done. You'll be building four installments of $200. <laughs> How you doing, man? Uh, living the dream, dude. Uh, it feels like it's been a minute since I've seen you here in Austin. <laughs> it has been because we've spent the last four days in Vegas. Oh, that that's true. Uh... uh I don't know how I'm going to do a week. Are you going to do a week with me? I mean, I... In late April, TMS Vegas leading through Scoop Fest. It is effectively a week, and I feel like four days killed me. Uh, and this is after Founders Day. Oh, and by the way, I might have to do travel for PX3 in between. I might have to go to Ohio or Pennsylvania to cover those races in between Founders Day and... A possible week in Vegas. I might spend very little time in Austin during April. There's a wonderful poem uh, about somebody walking through his journey in life. And this is the point, best way to begin a sentence. Uh, there's a beautiful poem. <laughs> dot dot dot. Yeah. Uh, and at one point, there's only one set of footprints, and, <laughs> and somebody asks, "But my lord, why were there only one set of footprints here?" And then Lionel Richie says, "Because that is when I was dancing on the ceiling." <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I saw you tweet that. Let me pull up the tweet. Hold on. That you said Hold that on. Earlier. No. You want to know what's more fucked up about that tweet? You want to know what's more fucked up about that tweet? Is this is the burden of being funny in front of Bri- Brian Brushwood. <laughs> Because that was my fucking joke. Yes! He does it all and the time. And then Brian says, I'm going to tweet that. I'm gonna t- <laughs> no, and by the way, no at. Did not give you the at on the tweet. No! I mean, no. I, mean, I, not I, even, I, not I gave not... credit where it was due to Lionel Richie. Lionel Richie. <laughs> <laughs> He's up Wait, all night long, man. But aren't you content creators? So I, it, the, I, I'm a selfless man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the is this selfless? In such abundance, I give it away. <laughs> yes. Alms to the poor. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that looks past. Right? This is the way selfless people sound. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, to be honest, like, like, like after the epic, we, uh, three days, <laughs> three days. Well, no, 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 because three we, nights. Right, so no, no, we, we did the Sunday was too expensive flight. Right. Uh, so early Monday yes. we flew out of Vegas, but, but we didn't, but, we, but didn't we didn't, we didn't just go- goop around. Day, yeah. I mean, we, we, we worked all day Sunday. Yeah. Three, three podcasts. We did a, look, we okay, did a lot of content. Right. We did a lot of meetings. No, it was a very productive weekend. Uh, it well, was also a lot of time. Of us in the Orleans gambling and uh, eating at Fridays. I like to think of it as story harvesting. Which brings us to our first topic! 
plane. Shoes off. Oh, dear. We're going right here, huh? Brian and I are at the Penn and Teller Show. Yeah. We are lucky enough to have uh, the VIP seats in uh, uh, between the lower bowl and the upper bowl. Yep. A booth. I look over to my With left. The table. Like a really nice Denny's. Yeah, Only no, you get to watch Penn and Teller. Exactly. And imagine to being that. in a nice Denny's. Imagine being in a nice Denny's where there's no <laughs> server. That's right. And no food. And no food. And and well, you have to walk. Nice and you have to walk and wait in a line to get an overpriced cocktail. But you get to watch Penn and Teller. Right. That that actually is a pretty so nice gosh. Denny's. It's a pretty good <laughs> Denny's. <laughs> like it's a pretty it. good fucking I Denny's. I wish they would open one of those up here in Austin. That'd I mean, be great. A Penn and Teller oh, Denny's? So, yeah, yeah right, a nice Denny's. Just that it happens to be Penn and Teller, right? <laughs> so I look over past Brian and I see a lady in another booth next to us that is sitting with her shoes off. Now, to be fair, there is... With her feet on the booth. To be fair. On the, the booth? On the booth. Mm. Uh, the, uh, 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 mm. on, on the seat. On the seat. Leather like seats, not on the table. All the way across, four long tables wide. Uh, there's a, the couple down there and us. That's yeah. all that's there. So, so she she's kind of sitting like a, a, a little bit a, coquettishly. This is, yeah, this is this is a this is a topical reference for all the kids. Like 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 Samantha's cartoon on Bewitched. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. like she's like kind of got like her feet. Like 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 up like that. Like I can't do it without falling <laughs> no, 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 down. I, th I think you can. Yeah. I have uh, an important question. Go yeah. ahead. Uh, how were her feet? Oh, right. my God. We're moving on. Oh, my God. We're moving on. Uh, that may have factored into the level of outrage. Okay. There we go. Uh, no, it didn't. I, I just think it's fucking gross to put your bare ass feet on, on what is luxury so they property. With, I wasn't they talking were. about you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I look at that and I'm like, oh, uh, uh, fucking... Lady's got some bare ass feet on these seats. Uh, uh, look over your shoulder, to which Brian says, "I was like, yeah, sometimes I do that on a plane." To which I knew I was co-hosting a show with a war criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Might okay. as well have been Slobodan there... Milosevic, my ten year plus comedy partner. <laughs> I've been making cum jokes <laughs> with Hitler for over a decade. <laughs> Is there a what philosophy? The fuck? Did the, why, what is the, can, Taking explain off yourself. your shoes on an airplane? I follow Instagram accounts specifically to make fun of yous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, where is the line? Like, like, like. Don't take your fucking shoes off. Ever? On a plane? On a on a on a 15-hour flight to the Middle East? Yes. They what? they they Keep literally on. say, welcome to the flight. Here are some socks for when you take your shoes off. Yeah. Oh. What, what, what do you throw oh, no, them in no, their no, face no, and no, say, no, fuck no, you? No, 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 no. Wear socks. Sure, yeah. No, wear the socks. Don't have bare feet. Okay. Yeah. I think we never had a disagreement to begin with. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, so you're no, 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 no. No, you don't get to get to what? No, 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 no. Okay. Don't forget. Justin, I, don't, I don't care. You didn't fly I don't a care 15 hour flight. 10 minute flight. I don't care if it's a 100 hour flight. Shoes are coming off. Okay, shoes. Yeah. Not socks. Not mm -hmm. socks. Wait, because we were looking at a barefooted woman and you were like, I do that. I mean, I guess one of us was fixated on that more than the other. Oh, but yeah. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Fixated. Uh, if she uh, had her socks I, on, I wouldn't have said anything. To be honest, I couldn't even remember if she had socks or not. I, 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 I know her shoes were off, though. There's more to this story. Her. You're hiding. <laughs> <laughs> the no, truth no, no. is out there. Uh, I'm uh, fucking Mulder on this, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to suss this shit out. One, you day to to One day you're going to slip. One day you're going to slip. Okay. So I was on a flight to London when I took my shoes off. Gotcha. Well, no, no, no. My shoes come off. Every and, single And you're what? And you're what? My socks stay on. Every time? Yeah. Mm. Weird that you said that that was not what was happening when you looked at that woman's bare feet. Oh, I said I said I do that sometimes. Yes. What I meant was I take off my shoes. Uh, mm hmm I thought maybe it was you sent, like, Samantha from Bewitched in the... <laughs> Yes. Sometimes I cast spells by by making my <laughs> nose <laughs> go back and forth. That is also true. But 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 are, so, are we pretending that the socks don't hold in all of the foot stink? Yeah. 
<laughs> Hold on, real quick. What character did we that just have? <laughs> <laughs> The, 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 the J. Jonah Jameson that just showed Somebody up. Somebody clip amazing. that out, and, and we need to play it back as soon as it shows up in the chat. As soon as it shows up in the chat. The American guy. Menace number one foot stink <laughs> Spider Man <laughs> is about. That's my imitation voice for Bryce from now on. <laughs> I think that was the my foot stink. Foot stink. I think that was my outraged Dan Rather. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's a but, funny but, idea. But, All right, it's there. It's there. Play, it's play there. back. It's Let's there. get the replay here. We gotta play it back right now. <laughs> my nose. <laughs> you can go back and forth. That is also true. But 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 are, so, are we pretending that the socks don't hold in all of the foot stink? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a very good J. Jonah Jameson. That's a very good J. Jonah Jameson. Right, next stop it. <laughs> Math. <laughs> so we're still back at the Penn and Teller we're show. We're still in the Penn and Teller show. Now, keep in mind, I saw Penn and Teller when they came to Austin in November. Uh, there was one bit that uh, I, I missed because I went to the restroom and I was embarrassed when Teller asked, hey, were you able to see something angles, you know, yep. trying to figure out blah, blah, blah. But 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 there was one bit that started uh, that involved a lot of coin flipping uh, that I was familiar with the process and I knew what the payoff was. And I was like, perfect time for me to, to go to the bathroom. So I, I, I lean over to Justin. And I said, I'm going to go to the bathroom. So, so I go to the bathroom and I I'm go to the bathroom and then some dude. I, I Yeah, go ahead. Some dude walks up to the stall next to me, mm -mm. starts pissing, and goes, <laughs> math. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that shit was so hilarious. <laughs> that while... Cause it was, cause, cause the trick that was happening was people just flipping coins. Right, correct. And, and uh, I thought it was so hilarious, I texted Bonnie, and then uh, uh, took, took, took a minute and uh, zipped everything up, and then I texted Justin... Uh, uh, oh my god, dude just walked up, said, math, this is the greatest thing ever. And, uh, uh, what, what, what did you say? It was a great line. What was it? Because <laughs> it was me who said it. Because <gasps> I also took a bathroom break during that trick, and I walked right next to Brian Brunchman at the urinal, <laughs> and I tried to make him laugh by saying... <laughs> And I just, Math. I just and totally I no sold him. No sold <laughs> with my dick in my hand. No reaction. <laughs> because I'm thinking to myself, Justin's gonna think this is hilarious. <laughs> I wondered why. You know, that's funny. My joke is, and I'm like, I know, dickhead, you're gonna laugh at it. <laughs> I wondered why Justin sent me this story, but Brian started explaining it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a fine routine. <laughs> Bryce, what's the next topic? Oh, no, I switched. Whitney Houston. <laughs> this, so, was, this was a weird moment coming into Vegas. Yeah, so uh, Justin and I are fairly familiar with the Las Vegas airport. Yep. We're fairly familiar with, uh, uh, with, with, with getting from. LAS. It's the code. From, from the plane to the hotel. Yep. We're in early. Uh, I've called ahead saying, hey, I know, you know I was supposed to check in at 4. I know it's 8.30 in the morning. Can we please? We'll see. Please just come on. Worst case, we'll hold your bags. And yep. We're a little bit kind of, you know, zombied out, you know, because it was so early. Um, we know where the Ubers and the taxis and the rentals and all that stuff are. We walk into baggage claim. We Nothing but carry-ons. Yeah. And... Um, we independently, in well, here, parallel, hold on. Let, me, let, me, let me pause, pause, pause right there. If you've never been in the McCarran badge, uh, baggage claim area, it's it's just a massive hangar. So it's not like like a strip or anything like a lot of other airports. It is one. It's big, like Times Square. Yeah, gigantic Times Square of of a baggage claim. But that means there is a lot of service area for advertisements for all the shows and things that you can do in Vegas. And there's one board in the middle of all of it that is showing and playing very loudly 
the audio for whatever the thing that they are trying to sell is. And so it's like, Chris Angel, the man who did magic, is now at the planet Hollywood. Come see Chris Angel. And he's like, come see me right now. Uh, 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 and then it's like, it, you know, the blue man group. Like, they're blue, they're men. It's a group of them. Bada badong, bong, bong, badong, badong. They throw paint at each other. Blue man at the Luxor. Like, and so that's happening. And then all of a sudden, I, I, I don't know where you... But where do your ears perk up for this specific moment? This is the part I genuinely don't know. And this is where I want to compare notes because we are both uh, seasoned professionals. Yeah. At, at, at unconsciously getting from the plane to the hotel, to wherever we need to right? go. Yeah. So, 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 so uh, we, we know where to go. However, uh, something caused us to walk right past the taxi stand. Yes. And 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 it began as a, 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 comparing notes. Now, uh, for, uh, uh, for me, it was the confusion of coming around the corner and hearing a Whitney Houston song. Uh, and I w it was like, I want to dance with somebody. Ooh. Like, and I so, want to feel the heat with so somebody. So we're walking like down past, like, like in the middle of all the baggage claim areas. And in my head, I'm like, watch fucking Whitney Houston. So, so, so at this point, Brett, I, I'll, I'll bet you could guess, like, what do you think the game is going in our heads right now? What show is this? Yes, exactly. Exactly. Because right? it was just Chris Angel, and then it was Blue Man Group, and then it was Whitney Houston. There's a Whitney show? Right. And, and, so, and, uh, and, I... and at that point, now I'm thinking, like, uh, uh, okay, Will is it is it a tribute is... show? That that's a This is a big spot to put a tribute show. Right. Uh, Steak you. Uh, and like there's there's no and it sounds like Whitney Houston it doesn't sound like somebody pretending to be Whitney Houston. Right. So I think uh, and, and also I look up at the board and I see previously unheard live recordings continuing to walk forward. Uh, this is I'm pretty sure we're past the taxi stand at this point. We just like um, uh, 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 like hypnotized uh, children are walking towards the, the shining lights <laughs> And you're like, uh, uh, they can't take away my dignity. <laughs> perfect timing for them to announce the Whitney Houston hologram show. <laughs> what? <laughs> like the final form of Vegas greed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, please pay Vegas prices to walk into a showroom so we can hit play. On this Whitney Houston greatest hits and show you a Pepper's Ghost illusion. Now, is, is Tupac the opener? Is that uh, how that works? Uh, to be honest, I, I would think about going to see a, a <laughs> Tupac show. Yeah. There's this moment where both of us just stop and stare, and we both realize that we have both been relying on the other one to recognize <laughs> what was happening. And then, and then, and then there. Uh, 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 you are now experiencing exactly what we experienced. Look at this shit. Uh, yeah. That, uh, uh, <laughs> it looks like a little hologram of Whitney Houston, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, and I'll bet you it looks better on camera than it does in person because, like, we saw a, a Tenacious D do a show where they did a lot of stuff. Not hologram. Not hologram. Those but, were real dicks. But but a lot of uh, <laughs> like a, a lot of animation and stuff. And it's like it's grainy. Anything on a screen is is grainy, and and it looks better on on a camera than yeah. It does this in one's person. actually rainy. They make it rain in the middle of her show. Yeah, those are the tears of Bobby Brown. Weird. <laughs> oh, I I feel very. Uh, Complicated, Con conflicted. conflicted. Yeah, yeah. About okay. it's a tragic end for her, right? Uh, yeah, it's pretty awful. Yeah. The only way it could get worse is if after she died, yeah, they made her into a simulacrum robot, a Chuck E. Cheese bot that p performed at showbiz all I the th time. The only thing that would make me go see that show is if the if whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I me, love that. Okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me finish. Right. Let me finish. Right. Is if the rest of her family was like. Hey, we get paid. Can you pay us? <laughs> right. yep. Our mom died. And I'd be like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fair enough. Let's hear the fair bodyguard enough. song. Cue it up. <laughs> um, 
Uh, I think it's a different song. <laughs> what was that? Uh, I don't know. Now she's like glowing blue too. It doesn't even look photorealistic. It's like a CD-ROM of <laughs> her <laughs> yeah. performance. Her performance is on the fucking card system. An evening with Whitney. Wow. She's uh, consistent, if they, nothing else. They, I would prefer it if they put quote marks around Whitney. Yeah. <laughs> An evening with Whitney? An evening Question with mark? Whitney? <laughs> with Whitney? Uh, Bryce, we have one more topic. Uh, oh, yes, we do have one more topic. Button. I wonder who's a Disney princess. Oh, shit. What a journey this has been. Uh, uh, this feels like three weeks ago now. Uh, yeah. In fact, uh, we, we kind of forgot that this happened like within the last seven days. Uh, 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 so uh, uh, there used to be a before time where we would go to bars and record Scam Nation episodes. Uh, pandemic happened. Yep. I say to my 12-year-old daughter, i got to teach magic to somebody. It might as well be you. And she's like, thanks, Dad, for the vote of confidence. I'm like, shut up. Get in the car. And then <laughs> we, we come on over, and I'm like, you're going to learn some magic. And she's like, you know, "What? If, can I be funny? And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, uh, and then uh, we release episodes. And then Disney's like, uh, them some nice episodes there. We'd like to license them. And I'm like, is there money involved? And they're like, yep. And I was like, great. This would be a lot better if you actually just described what happened as opposed <laughs> to doing it as a character. <laughs> like, this, is, this is like a very specific like media deal you made. <laughs> like, anyway, Mr. Crab said to Mr. Shrimp, like, I'll pinch you if you don't give me a dime. And Mr. Shrimp says, <laughs> and then Mr. Bryce says, does the beach stink? <laughs> I, that wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we got through a difficult time. We created a, a lot of content yeah, where the dur show during during the lockdown, right. You made episodes with Josie where you were teaching her magic, so at least you would be able to do the tutorial element where you weren't just by yourself. Correct. And yeah. there was kind of a confusing aspect where it's like, well, what are we doing? This is not the show that we started with. Now it's just a dad and a daughter in a garage learning magic. Yeah. And and it's like I but but we got to make something. I don't know what else to do. Turns out that that Disney licensed uh, uh, like twelve episodes or something. So a, sh a show for Disney XD, correct? Uh, called I Wonder, right? E, and, uh, e Y E Wonder uh, hits you up and initially is only looking for scam school clips or, or scam nation clips where you're at the bar. Right? That's correct. Like 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 pre Josie era. And I was like, well, if this is Disney, are you aware of what we're doing now? And then they hit me back with like, Psych, we want these eleven other episodes, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I, I don't watch live TV or cable or whatever. Yep. So, so I vaguely aware that they're out there somewhere, but nobody says anything or does anything. We did then, not know that they came out. Yes, yeah. correct. <laughs> they came we out last not. year, and we nobody knew in uh, uh, our community. <laughs> there are many communities that would theoretically be watching for this. It says nothing about the reach of Disney XD or our demographics. <laughs> Why <laughs> just do it? But uh, nobody fucking knew. And then Thursday. Yep. Thursday, all of a sudden, it shows up on 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 uh, Disney Plus, and and so and so. Uh, 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 number one, it's like, oh my god! And not only that, but Josie is the channel thumbnail yeah. of yeah. the entire series. Yeah. Look at that! So, uh, so I I called Josie, and uh, and I'm like, hey, uh, so remember, remember, remember. I'm like, you're sort of the thumbnail of the show, and then just all I hear is boop, boop, boop. Oh, no. Hangs up. Hangs up on dear old dad. Bah. Gotcha. That's Follows fair. up with a text that just says, I'm broken. <laughs> <laughs> I call her and she's hysterically crying, but I can't yeah. tell how serious it is. And and and, and I'm like, oh, sweetie, are you really crying? And she goes, it's just a lot, Dad. I need a moment to process. But uh, basically, of the 13 episodes, I think we're in half of them. Uh, 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 they, they, oh, man. I, there's no way we can get away with showing the ending, can we? Wow. Well, we can show a picture. Okay, okay, so, no, no, I've got it. I've got it. Got I actually it? think okay. that Okay, so okay. before we wrap it up, uh, Josie comes to terms. She's very excited. Jo Josie was upset that... These a lot of these year things olds. were were shot two years ago. Right, she's right. now two years older. She has a different look, as people of that age you know tend to do. Correct. Uh, to which she'll eventually learn. 
don't worry, you're going to be embarrassed of the older footage too. Like uh, right. uh, uh, this will all be something that will be a time capsule. So a couple of things that were really, really neat is uh, uh, in the roundup. First of all, they did it. A great job of capturing, you know, TikTok illusions, digital artists, yep. learn some magic, perform some magic, all of that stuff. Uh, 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 and and they, they were really good about subtly and uh, with class crediting everyone, like, yeah. you know, magic in your hands featuring Scam Nation and so on, right? So, so all of that was totally cool. Um, uh, and then at some point, uh, as I'm watching it, it's like, oh my God, we, I think it was you that said, that that we look like the adults in the room. Like, uh, hmm. I mean, your your footage uh, does not look like it was on YouTube. It looks like it was on Disney Plus or Disney XD. or produced or, for yeah, Disney, it, right? It, it was well, produced. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and Bryce, uh, I I I know that 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 I I got the sense of a surprising warmth from Bryce upon seeing all this. Oh, ab absolutely. Like. I was not prepared for. I mean, I knew that we had done this thing. I had been in touch. I had given them files and footage and stuff. And so I think I I just was not I was not ready for it to be good. For it to be yes, exactly. <laughs> Cuz you know, we uh, all of those are episodes that I edited last year or so. Uh and they did a very nice they the edits and shot, that they did right? were and good. Shot, shot and edited, right? Uh yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. And uh so so I was glad that the editing that they did on top of what we did was very subtle and very soft and clearly for the time format that they had. And I I was just I was just really happy it was good. I mean I I, I think I, I had I feel the opposite. Like you're getting reaction. a little misty eyed right now. I, 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 am. Is, I, know, I mean I, know. I you know, if if, I, 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 if it's not to like when we did the Scam School pilots a few years ago, I I had I didn't have the best experience with that. And so I think just to see like, oh, it actually happened and it's good and you did it and it seems like it's going very well was, yeah, it was very overwhelming. Bryce, <laughs> Bryce, I know. Bryce, something that you did is on Disney. Everybody give a round of applause to Bryce. Bryce! Bryce! All right. And every, and, and all, all he's the getting misty eyed like something <laughs> stinks near him. So. <laughs> Uh, Let's give him a Spider Man moment. around. Let's give him a moment. <laughs> hey, I want a, a Disney. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, so so another thing that happened is in all of the back and forths as far as like formats and all that stuff, it becomes apparent that they really do appreciate what we're up to and all that stuff. And uh, uh, I took it as a real vote of confidence when they needed a package because they wanted to actually have interviews with all of the the talent that, yeah. that made up the show. Uh, but they didn't send a producer out or anything. They just said, hey, produce a package, interview yourselves, uh, here are the questions, just go. And and we did, so, having no idea what they were going to do with it. It turns out, of the 13 episodes, this is the last 20 seconds of, of, of the, the entire, entire series. series. That's right. Yes. This is the very end of, uh, here, here it is. <laughs> I think what I really want to get out of magic is just being able to lighten the mood for everyone, being able to bring entertainment everywhere. Yeah, dude. It's like I'm bringing my wisdom and experience, meeting up with your raw talent and ah! youth, and then ah! diamond. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Actual magic starts happening. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the Diamond Club symbol. Oh, the Diamond Disney. Club hand signal is now Disney canon. Oh. If Walt Disney himself were to arise from his grave altered beast style, he would have nothing to say but to acknowledge the fact that the Diamond Club symbol is now indeed canon. Oh. So, so good. Uh, hey, if you want to make more miraculous stuff just like this happen, you can support us by heading on over to patreon.com slash great night. Fuck yeah, man. Look. <laughs> <laughs> on yeah. this website, you give us money. Yeah. What are you going to get immediately? Jack shit. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe an email. But in the long run, what you're going to get is the satisfaction of understanding that this show continues to roll on. We do bigger and better things. Founders Day is coming up. That's right. Uh, we are tuning up the band when it comes to doing live events again. Mm. Finally, we are coming out of our hibernation. And I feel like now that we are all together doing a more cohesive show, we now have a bit of a live audience. Yeah. Like, like yeah. shit, is, yeah. shit is popping off right now. If you want to be a part of it, then you can go ahead on over to uh, patreon.com slash great night. And uh, 
let me just say that it was in part because you guys support us that there was a little gift put into the feed. Oh, can we talk last about Friday. the gift? Last Friday, there was a little, 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 little uh, bit Bri of a gift. Bryce, do we have access to the gift? Uh, we, we we can. It's a long gift, but yes, uh, we can. Oh no, maybe maybe just the beginning, like the first. First. No, the, 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 the intro is long. Look, uh, uh, there is a file in your feed called, and this is the free feed and the Patreon feed, called uh, the Captain Morgan Podcast. And uh, it was after World's Greatest Con Season 2 had kind of wrapped the like active production phase. I have tried to carve out a little something for myself right after I get done where I still have the motor of production really high, but I am very burnt out on what I just did. That I want to do something that I'm like has no expectations. It's totally fucking ridiculous. That project this time was the Captain Morgan podcast, uh, which is among the dumbest things that I have ever fucking done in my <laughs> now, life. It's in, very in, in this case, though, you had a test audience. Well, I worked on this for about a month <laughs> and I didn't mention anything to Brian at all, mostly nope. because the only real audience that I wanted to play this for was Brian once. And I didn't even have it finished, but I had it at least like 75, 80% of the way done. And we both got COVID because I gave it to Brian. And <laughs> uh, you're welcome, by the way. Yeah. And so we're, we're quarantining here at, at HQ. And I'm like, well, you know, there's, something i can play you and he's like oh yeah cool man what <laughs> uh, <laughs> who is that how is this i love the fact that you're you sam elliott and i'm a paper boy let me let me let me let me let me let me do it again so i say hey young blood hey <laughs> you want to hear something really cool and you go oi all right now <laughs> Mister, i'd like to hear your your dot wave <laughs> Uh, so I played him the podcast, and it was made to make Brian laugh. I am very glad that I am still in tune enough to make Brian laugh as hard as he did. But he crumpled into the fetal position on the ground because he was laughing so hard. And I'm like, this can't get better. And then he involuntarily farted. <laughs> Oh, and I was like, this is the greatest. Yeah. I've never made anybody ah. laugh so hard. They, they fell on the ground. They lost all bodily function and then they <laughs> lost bowel control. <laughs> the gift that keeps on shitting. <laughs> uh, but but yeah, you can uh, 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 Bryce, if you skip about. I would say a minute in that will give you a, a sense of the Captain well, like Morgan I gotta podcast. Say, this is a bit out of my Perfect. area of expertise, yeah. so I can't offer a definitive answer to it. But just to remind everybody that in America, you can sue anyone for anything. So if the brand damage was egregious, like, say, for example, in this version, Captain Morgan is a slurring violent pervert into MMFFF group sex. Then, yes, even if the lawsuit wouldn't ultimately hold up, you could probably get sued. Anybody who was making such a podcast would have to be very stupid. And anybody listening to the podcast should probably make sure they listen to all of it because it is almost assuredly going to be deleted or taken down because of a cease and desist order. Hope that helps. I'm Captain Morgan. I've done cocaine. I'm a legally protected fairy of a real historical figure. Look at that. <laughs> the latest terrible celebrity podcast. That'll be All right. So there we go. It's in your feed right now. Go get it. It's about 20 or so minutes. Uh, that's, uh, the, that's the sound of Justin realizing he doesn't want me to fart on the air. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get a mic down there, though. Oh. Uh, uh, but, but yeah, no, that was, that was an act of mania. Uh, I, was, I was every voice. So somebody's asking, well, who was the voice of the house? Every, All of them. Every yeah. voice. Yes. Yeah. I, 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 was, I was in my Eddie Murphy bag.
Boat, boat. Everybody grab a boat. <laughs> uh, hey, Bryce, do we have a game? We do have a game. It's been a while since we've done this. Everybody say it with me. It's time for the Monster Match. The Monster Match. Monster match. Hey. Uh, 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 I like this one because you, you get to argue a lot. And there's no right or wrong answer. There's just who wins. <laughs> That's right. Isn't that the entire fucking show? Pretty much. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the monster match. This is uh <laughs> I'm not Yeah. Is this twerking? Oh, is no. This... <laughs> I don't know. Is it twerking for you? It, <laughs> I walked into that one. It's, tw- that it's twerking for me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a game where we pit a bunch of just a lot of <laughs> Okay, I have to power through this. Uh th- oh he's even like taking he's a farting position. Yeah. 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 How else are you yeah. gonna smell my taint? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Justin, if you need an HR violation form, just, I believe they're glad the we're not on an airplane. Yeah. Um, well, this is uh, the Unfortunately, part- I'm a 1099. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the bracket game where we set uh, a bunch of people, a bunch of things against each other. It, it, it'll make sense. It'll make sense. <laughs> I feel like I broke right. There's there a bunch the- of <laughs> things that go against each other. <laughs> <It used> to- <laughs> like a Spider Man. <laughs> He's out there somewhere. <laughs> Originally, this was just about competing monsters against each other, but the yeah. matching is the level of monster now. Exactly, it's, it's canon now. Well, we, what we've realized is the Halloween bit went so well, <laughs> we'd like to do it more times during the year. Yes, yeah. and yeah. so the matching and is monster. The matching is monstrous. That's yes, right. uh, monstrous is the word, not monster. Some, which is not a word. Uh, so we uh, we've got a bracket. That would be a great thing to put in a Tinder bio. <laughs> What? I'm monstersome. <laughs> I'm, I'm monstersome. You figure it out. Winky emoji. Like, Did you say what? finger? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so we've got to talk to my lawyer. <laughs> so uh, we will be competing uh, in the fast and the foodiest. We have taken the top eight fast food restaurants. Uh, generally, they're the top in their category. And uh, you've got a stein on, uh, if you look on the set there, you've got a stein with some challenges here. I'm going to give you two restaurants at a time. You're going to set uh, uh, the two of them. Who wrote uh, RL on this? <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, you guys we are... Should, we, we should sell the RL, RL stein. stein. Oh, that's a good idea. Is, yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm going to give you two... can't sue us for that. <laughs> I'm going to give you two restaurants. You will have a my life! <laughs> I'm going to give you two restaurants, and I'm going to give you a scenario that you're I'm in. I'm a legally protected parody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a... Yeah, the R.L. Stein podcast coming soon. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to give you two. You're going to get a, You're going to pick a scenario. Uh, Brett's going to run the score, the, the, the bracket for me. Uh, everybody, let's talk about who your competitors are today. Uh, in the first seed, in fact, our first competition, the number one seed, McDonald's. Versus the number eight seed Panda Express. Oh. Uh, I normally like go and get pictures and stuff, but we all know what all of these sure. yeah. restaurants are. That's fine. So do me a uh, favor, grab in- McDonald's versus Panda Express. I- I'll grab a conflict. Yeah. So uh, the the scenarios in that Stein um, are uh, what you are doing. It is what you were just doing, and you're going to kind of debate, figure out uh, which is uh, uh, which of the two options. Uh, we'll we'll fit you there, Justin. What is uh, uh, what's the scenario there? You invited someone over, oh, and goodness. they're bringing like seven people with them, and you already said it was cool, but you only thought it would be one or two, and now you gotta get food. Oh, there we go. So, so McDonald's versus. So wait, so we versus are not Panda the brands; Express. we are people, and now we are we having this choose. discussion. This is exactly. their battle for our choice, for your money, exactly. Yeah. So it's McDonald's versus Panda Express. You invited somebody over, and they're bringing like seven people with them, and you already said it was cool, but you only thought it'd be okay. one or two people, so now you're getting food now. Now, uh, I understand the default option, of course, is uh, Panda Express. They have all of the food pre-cooked, ready to go. All you have to do is walk Wait, in there and say, the default? give me uh, scoops of everything, and you could feed all seven people the surprise number of people. However, let me make a case. Yeah, that you're... Uh, college football national champion <laughs> and you've gone to the white house for your celebratory dinner and it's 2017 and it's 2017 <laughs> go on 
<laughs> There's the president. Because of a government shutdown, <laughs> the White House uh, uh, kitchen staff is not available to cook food. Uh -huh. And so instead, you, Alabama, <laughs> or Alabama, I'm thinking, or maybe it's Clemson, walks in and, and they see the president of the United States uh, uh, standing above a smorgasbord of uh, McDonald's food with his hands outstretched. Like Christ. Uh, lower than Christ. <laughs> <laughs> like not, not, not full. Like, it's a extension. little, it's a, it's like 60% like Christ. It's like a 60% Christ. <laughs> okay. Like a 60% Christ. Like you're in the middle of saying the sentence, I don't understand why this is here. <laughs> But got this? it's better than the China virus covered <laughs> uh, yeah. orange chicken. I mean, if he would have seen it from there, this shit might have not been as bad. Yeah, no, good point. Uh, so, gentlemen, you've got to make your choice. You've invited someone over and they're bringing people. Are you going to go get McDonald's or Panda I mean, Express? I, I think we might be in agreement. I, I, I would go Panda Express in this situation, 100%. <laughs> The, uh, the only reason not to would be peanut allergies. That's maybe the no. The only reason not to is that there ain't a Panda Express probably by you. Like like they, they are they are fewer and far between. Uh, we're gonna than, we're gonna yeah, assume yeah. that you have equal availability to these restaurants okay. no, and that no, they are no. open no. at All the right. time. No, 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 of yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey Bryce, hey Bryce, hey Bryce. Yeah. Yeah, Guess what? what they're building? Like, oh. not even across the street in my neighborhood. What are they building? Are they building a Panda Express out here? And a PF Changs. <gasps> <laughs> I gotta find my wife and go to PF Chang's. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, I, I my vote is cast. Uh, if you want to try to convince no, me no, otherwise, no, 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 I'll go Panda. Okay. I'll go Panda. All right, there we go. Panda. We've got a winner in the panda. first round. It's Panda. 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 Oh, I don't get to dance. You can dance. We're playing some music here. Panda. All right, panda, there we go. Panda. Panda. We call this the General So Smash. <laughs> <laughs> is that so? Yep. Is that general so? <laughs> uh, either that or his corpse. I can't decide which character I am. <laughs> you're kind of doing a, like a stink. You're kind of doing a white boy stanky leg. It is a little bit of a stanky leg. Do you know what a stanky leg is? Uh, so, so so yeah. So you're just on on that like not not your base foot, but yep. your yeah. You do you do a little. Yep. Like a little. No, no, but really get that knee moving. Yeah, you got to bring the knee down. You're yeah, waving. Yeah. Rotate the knee. You're rotate. like rippling there the knee. There we go. There yeah. You go. Ripple that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, with, look with, at that with, with leg. any kind of rhythm. With literally any kind of rhythm. <laughs> hey, man. I can only give you so much. <laughs> All right. Match up two. The number four seed representing submarine sandwiches. It's Subway versus... Oh, sorry, that's the number five seed. The number four seed representing the taco is Taco Bell. Gentlemen, you would I... not do this to me. Damn, this that, early that, is, in the that, match. that is a crazy early round matchup. Uh, gentlemen, well, I, mean, can I, I guess you... it depends on yeah, go, what the go, activity go pick it is, up. right? Can I tell you this? Yeah. Brian Brushwood ate it. no less than eight fucking subs during our three days in Vegas. It's what? Tr it's a true thing. This Foot longs or six ate inches? Ate Foot longs ate six inches. Like two subs two to three subs a day we had a fucking gigantic prime rib meal in the belly wick in the orleans and then not but four hours later this motherfucker is rolling down to the food court so he can get another goddamn six inch sub wow then you know what it's very easy food it's very easy so what's the scenario Brian? But is it easier than taco bell for example imagine you're driving home and grabbing food because you forgot to get groceries. Are you gonna go to the place where you get to wait in a line and like an overbearing assistant manager guide motion by motion the hands of the sandwich This is a artist? long slip. <laughs> or do you just pull into a Taco Bell and say, Me Mexican pizza, which is back by the way. It is coming back. By the way, I love how all of these are so very Bryce. <laughs> it's like, so your boss is a dick and you need to eat your feelings. I don't eat my feelings. That's not a good habit. <laughs> uh, all right. So, gentlemen, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, you're driving home and you're grabbing food because you forgot to get groceries. Is it going to be Taco Bell or something? I, I, I like would Brian say 150,000 times it's Taco Bell. Yeah. And, and and there might have been a question like a month ago, but not now that the Mexican pizza is back. That's right. The Mexican pizza <laughs> is coming back. Uh, 
There we go. All right, there we go. An easy win for Taco yeah, Bell in the second yeah, round, yeah, yeah. which is, which is unfortunate because Subway is very robust in in other ways, in like in like price. How is quality. it robust? I mean, their ability to set. weather uh, pedophilia-related uh, uh, shit storms. Wow. Would I mean, that, that, that amongst other things, <laughs> yeah. sure. Okay. I would say... I would their say ability the three, to, the, with the, a straight face, put Doctors Associates <laughs> as the name of their business, despite the fact that there are no doctors yeah. and there's nothing healthy about the, their product. The three things that I would say that they're robust in yes. is uh, quality of product. Yes. Mm. Uh, 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 options of uh, a taste and the hardiness and the of the ability Italian. to weather pedophilia charges <laughs> okay. by way of hitching their wagon to one man for a decade, <laughs> only to realize he's a literal monster yes. who belongs behind bars. Okay, right, 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 yeah. No, I'm but one time he was fat. Yeah. But anyway, fuck the Taco Bell Chihuahua. Am I right? Yo quiero go fuck myself. I guess. Oh, my God, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't want to do the accent. Right. I think it's a good <laughs> what idea. What that sound like? <laughs> but three. if you did, what would it sound like? <laughs> Round three. All right, let's do this. The number two seed in the coffee category, it's Starbucks. Up against the number seven seed representing the burrito, it's Chipotle. Gentlemen, can I have you pull By the way, scenario? these are normally a combo for me. Oh, really? And then... And then you're on the toilet for like eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I often, I have often Wait, what, done what, the, what, the, the both two back to back. Boom, boom. One That's is the right. powder, the other is the payload. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Megatons. <laughs> All right, Justin, can, I you, can I have you pull a scenario for me, friend? <laughs> scenario says, you want to live. <laughs> uh, you finished a nice one hour hike. Oh, there you go. You just finished a nice one hour hike. God. Are you going to go with Starbucks or Chipotle? Kind of on the opposite entrance of one hour. One hour. So you might be a little peckish. You know, you, you, might, you might want some food, might yeah, want but, some, some sustenance. But whenever you do an hour of exercise, like, like, like uh, I don't know. I, I, I tend to, to feel like I'm. I tend to feel what? Like you looked like you were about ready to hut to hike the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Like you, you, I, you, 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 I, I don't find myself very hungry immediately after a workout. I don't think the workout is really the issue. It is when you last ate. So like if you wake up and then you go work out, you're probably gonna want to eat afterward. If you eat and then work out, you're probably not gonna want to eat afterward. Okay. So what do you normally do? You, do you suddenly you crave coffee after you work out, or? Well, I I would say all right. Well, uh, uh, if you're uh, like, you know what I need is some Ray Lamontagne and a cinnamon bun. <laughs> they do have sandwiches, I believe. They do, Starbucks. yeah, yeah. No, they got like charcuterie boards and all kinds of shit at the Starbucks. Yeah, uh, I would know. I wouldn't touch the filthy motherfucker. You don't. You're not a Starbucks man yourself. No, man. I'm I a guess you're not a man. coffee guy. Yeah. 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 Why are you defensive about that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You, Why are you, you still you're, attacking you're, me about you're, it? You're allowed to not like coffee. Like, that's not, like, a, an insult. Maybe it was, I mean, look, I'll tip them. Fine. Tip who? <laughs> the guy asking whether or not he wants to <laughs> give me a dollar tip or me to give him a dollar tip. For what? Like, that's what I'm asking. Like, <laughs> what did you do? You just gave me a coffee and now you're asking me for a dollar tip? Who is giving you a coffee? Whoever, I, I don't know, somebody at a coffee place. This happens to you? <laughs> you walk I, into a coffee place, someone hands you a coffee, and now you're pressured to give them a tip? I'm actually talking out of school because <laughs> it's a gripe you have about our local coffee joints that they always ask whether or not you want they want you want oh to my give Oh fucking <laughs> god. Jesus and Christ. The remedy, we uh no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, now the reversal. <laughs> uh, no, okay. Uh, Here, I, I, no, I, no, let me tell you about what a piece of shit fucking Brian Brushwood is. <laughs> let me tell you about what a piece of shit Brian no, Brushwood story, is. My story. fucking co host on this show. <laughs> so every Monday we go eat lunch at the exact same place. <laughs> on the way back, I get coffee. Because sometimes I like to eat lunch and then go get coffee. <laughs> That's a thing I like to do. I fucking go to the same place and uh, uh, I, I uh, order the stuff 
And then all of a sudden, Brian reaches over with his card over me. Oh. He's in my passenger seat and says, uh, hey, uh, he has cash in his hand. Uh, my friend's a cheap piece of shit and won't tip. <laughs> So do me a favor, just take this for you and everybody in the crew. And I have even know why. Like it's like a five dollar bill. He just reaches over me so he can fucking poison the well for this place that we go to every fucking Monday. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of jokerfication required to do this oh. is unimaginable. Oh my god. My pick is Chipotle. <laughs> you know what? I agree actually. Chipotle is pretty great. <laughs> it's Chipotle there. All right, fantastic. Our last Jeez, what a story. I <laughs> I had no idea we would be uncovering these finds. All right. A match number four. What an asshole, by the way. <laughs> What an asshole! We go there every fucking, and it's the same girl every fucking month, and I tip sometimes, so she even knows. Sometimes, that. most times, <laughs> not every time though. Round number four. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you two. <laughs> Fuck you two. No, no, round four. I got shame for not tipping the fucking lady at the at the blackjack table, the cocktails lady. I think tipping the cocktail lady makes more sense than tipping the coffee people. I'll say that. Uh, number round round three, the number three seed representing the chicken. It's Chick Fil A. Uh oh, closed on Sunday. Versus the number six seed representing the pizza, da 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 da, -da Domino's pizza. All right, uh, Justin, why don't you pick a uh, pick a prop? I picked the last one. You pick this one. All right, why don't you pick a prop for me? <clears throat> It's Sunday and you want chicken. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what it says. <laughs> that uh, would be very funny if that happened, yeah, though. Right? <laughs> it's lunchtime and it's raining outside, and there's only one umbrella for the two of you. Oh, are you going to go Chick fil A or Domino? It's kind of a strange matchup for this one, but that's the random element of this. It's lunchtime and it's raining outside, and there's only one umbrella for the two of you. It's got to be Domino's, right? Because you don't wait, have wait, to hold leave. Hold on, wait. Uh, again, Bryce, I need clarification here. Yeah. Uh, the two of you is are two people. Brian or and is it you and the brand. Brian and Justin. Brian and Justin. That's right. So it's raining. We are huddled under an umbrella, and we have the choice of Chick-fil-A or Domino. Hold on. I correct. actually really enjoy the alternate scenario <laughs> where it's That's not the two of us. Yeah. It's like, it's like, uh, like which will annoy you more? The guy who's like, uh, like you know, Chick-fil-A who's proselytizing to you and so on. Or Domino is like, eh, doesn't rain like this in New York. I'm just saying. Is Domino even based in New York? I think it's based, they're based in Michigan. That's the problem. Is that they don't he, even he know. talks as though they don't even know that they've awful. got the good water. Hey, I'm from Michigan. Oh, <laughs> experience Michigan. Oh, yeah, born, burn and raised, baby. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I I feel like this this one has to be ordering pizza, right? No, we're not ordering. We're under an umbrella. We're ordering. Out. I mean, no, nothing says you can't. I mean, you can. Yeah, no, no. I, I think and this it's is lunch this, 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 this is surface area. Alone, you're gonna. Well, it's pouring rain. You're gonna order it's a thing raining with a outside, lot of. Which would imply that no, we're. It says we're under an umbrella. I mean, yeah. you have. We one only umbrella. have one umbrella. You can do whatever you'd like. It says it's lunchtime. It's raining outside, oh. which implies we're inside, probably oh, playing okay. Demio or something, right? And then it's like, whatever. What, what are we gonna go out and get wet? What are you crazy? Yeah, I wouldn't. I'm not gonna write some. I don't know, shambolic prompt where you're outside in the rain sharing an umbrella looking for... Define, like, Bryce, half Bryce, of those Bryce, words. Bryce, Bryce, don't limit yourself. <laughs> don't limit yourself. I believe in you. I'm gonna go. Write shambolic sometimes. <laughs> Shamble it. Shamble it, baby. Expand your horizons. I hope I use oh, that. Oh, yeah, order. no. If we're sitting yeah. inside, then we're yeah, getting dominoes. Yeah, right? Domino's, right? Domino's! They deliver 30 minutes. Da -da -da dominoes. Boys and boys. Except for here, uh, I, I we're in a black hole. I called no less than five Dominoes, and all of them refused to deliver here. Out here during the tornado? Uh, no, like uh, just like on a Wednesday night. <laughs> this <laughs> is more Papa John's territory. Yeah, yeah. This is PJ's.
Papa. And everything it goes, everything that that <laughs> fails. Go, go on. <laughs> they root for Louisville basketball. Yeah, yeah. They make questionable decisions. <laughs> they get kicked out of the NFL for, they even get, though they're the ones paying the NFL. Yep, and eventually Shaq owns them. Okay, that works. Wow. That's a good, that's good prospects for the company. All right, we're gonna move into our semifinals round here. It's very good pizza. Brett, uh, what is our first round on the semifinals? We've got uh, the first round on the semifinals. We have Panda Express or Taco Bell. Ooh, Panda Express v Taco Bell. Or right, Brian or no, Justin, can yeah. I have you get me a prompt, please? Meat. You got out of a movie. And you got different opinions about it. Oh, you just got out of a movie and you both have different opinions about the movie. What, 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 what's the last movie we had different opinions about? Uh, <laughs> Corey says nothing. Corey, off like mic, movie. Uh, very unhelpfully, just <laughs> fucking took a random deep personal <laughs> shot at Brian and <laughs> myself saying that we don't like any movies. Wait, we like all movies. Wait, what's the last movie I didn't like? Get on a fucking mic, Corey. Get on, get on a fucking mic. Get on yeah, a fucking mic. Corey. No, get get, get a mic. Get a mic. Get mic. Yeah. How it works. Get back behind the camera. Every movie. Y'all have never liked any movie What ever. the fuck are you talking about? We <laughs> like a lot of movies. Movie we have not liked. All of them. You only complain about movies. Maybe you like the them. The last movie you I saw was Spider-Man. It was fucking great. I yeah, loved it. I, I, you, you certainly haven't said anything about it positive. <laughs> oh, yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> well, name something you said positive about I it. I loved the movie. Okay. It was I great. loved Bryce's impression so, of J. Jonah Jameson. So now hey, man, when I put y'all... So now when I put you up to it, now is when you come up with the good things to say about no! it. What fucking axe have you been carrying and for how long? <laughs> That's all I when hear. When did this start? All, all I hear is y'all complaining about movies. And I'm like, that was a good movie. What, hap what, what happened in your childhood that made you hate every movie? No, we don't hate every movie. I mean, sometimes we like, like critique but, a movie. Yeah, but I mean, like, it's, that's fine. It's, it's partial art. your job is just to, to make stuff up you hate. So. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! Get the fuck off, set. All right, all right. You know Who what? The fuck uh, gave him a mic. I, I, Corey Cranston, yeah, thank you. Fuck you, Corey. <laughs> no. <laughs> so Taco Bell, right? It's got to hey, be Taco I, Bell. Hey, have you? Because right now, what? Hey, I, what are you way, feeling? By the way, by the I'm way, I'm feeling like I want some fucking Taco Bell. Hold on, wait a minute. Do you uh fucking see that one movie? Oh, that oh, one. That yeah, one. Yeah. The one, the one where the cameraman started talking shit. <laughs> This fucking sideline the entire movie. Yeah, it was. Uh, Fuck uh, that movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so and okay, this is not very helpful. <laughs> Camera performance, Corey. Thank you. <laughs> a visual joke. <laughs> a visual joke. Very. <laughs> we love it. Watch TV. Watch us in video. Yeah, you want to know what? I should have thought through the fact that <laughs> Corey's my camera. <laughs> it's like, what was that one airline that you hated where the pilot was a real piece of shit <laughs> and is currently flying the plane? Wait, all right, what, what were our choices again? Your, our choices are Panda Express or Taco Bell. No, Panda Express is inherently divisive. You got 18 million different I, choices. I, I, feel like, I feel like I have eaten Taco Bell after movies probably more than any other fast food. I, w I would say at least once Taco Bell has saved a relationship I've had. I think I think I probably at least uh, once. Uh, Rachel is in is is watching us live. I, I feel like I have triple digits. We have eaten Taco Bell. She's one hundred percent. She says she's the yeah. Justin historian, and she can yeah. confirm and that this. just with her. Like like that that, that that notwithstanding any other Taco Bell trip. So yeah, Taco Bell. Uh, hey, by the way, Corey, I really appreciate that. I'm gonna buy you some Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like fucking movies, man. <laughs> I like movies in general. I feel like I'm a positive movie man. You th you think that I'm a negative movie man, and it hurts me. It hurts Says me. Says he in my would soul. like to hear that sometimes. Uh, all right, let's let's stop talking to the man who is still not on a microphone. And move on <laughs> exactly. <to the> <laughs> That's Congratulations. The most part about this. Congrats to Taco Bell, winning in the semifinals. Uh, in the sixth round here, we've got Chipotle versus Domino's. I believe. Can I have you? Pick a prompt for me, Brian. I have no idea who's going to win. Chipotle we'll v. Out. Domino's. Let's see what he's got. John Taffer just shut down the bar you were at, <laughs> and you didn't get your food. <laughs> Let's go. 
All right. Is, John Taffer. Is, is this a political thing? I don't know who John Taffer is. Bar Rescue? Sorry. I now know who John Taffer is. Yeah. <laughs> I, by the way, I've been in a bar that he shut down. No, it was uh, where, where, it, it was it was recording the opening of a new bar in Bar Rescue. Yeah. Oh, you went to the we new know bar. we know people that we know bars work on Bar Rescue. Yeah. And so uh John Taffer really wanted to just get a dig into our friends. And so he came over to me and my wife. It's a very weird scene if you've ever been to one of these things, uh, because they're not actually playing music. It's dead silent because they're going to put the music in afterwards, like in, in, in the, the yeah, in, in, in the after part, it is very sterile. All the lights are very high. So it looks like no bar you have ever been to ever in your life. Right. Because they are shooting it. They're not actually trying to shoot at a bar. Uh, and so we're trying to be good reality people so so you're you're doing the fake talking and yeah and the bopping the music that's not really there no they do have real cocktails uh and so yeah we were me and my wife are pretending that we're having a cocktail and then uh john taffer comes by and says hey guys how you enjoying everything uh, oh, oh it's great john taffer you enjoying everything good uh yeah this is the best bar uh, I mean, it used to be bad but now it's good you think you Think you got good taste? Uh, I, 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 I know that that you do. But you, but you think you have good taste? I, uh, I, 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 uh, uh, yeah, I, I. Because I, I don't think you have good taste because you're friends with Katie. Oh, <laughs> right. The camera walks off. Oh, really? Oh, oh, he was just fucking with you. Yes, that's no, hilarious. no, no. He was fucking with Katie, who got us in. Yeah, no, uh, that, uh, and that, that, and is that was it. And so I, we were I, trying actually, to be, we were trying to be good for the show, and in turn, he was like, "No, these are your friends. I'm just gonna I'm burn gonna them. mess with them." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. And he's like, oh, "Also, this guy doesn't tip well here." <laughs> Fuck you, <laughs> Taffer. <laughs> So in the in the case, so 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 if anyone's never seen Bar Rescue, the beginning of Bar Rescue is John Taffer pulls up in a black SUV and has suspiciously <laughs> cameraed everywhere in a in the shittiest bar you've ever seen, and is like, "Well, let's see whether or not we'll be shutting this bar down." Uh, and he sits there like the Godfather in his fucking SUV as. The shittiest bar is doing the shittiest things, and people are pouring hot grease on each other and like, like, like fucking snot rocketing sure. into fucking Miller lights and like the grossest, most weird shit you've ever seen. And he gets increasingly upset in the SUV, and he's like, "No, no, don't snot! He's snot rocketed in the Miller light! What the fuck?" Uh, and then he's like. He just builds up his fucking indi like indignant, and he's like, "Fuck it, fuck it! Ah, oh, this is disgusting!" Bah, fucking bah, off, bah, bah. Off, off the hinges, kicks the fucking SUV door off. John Cena music plays. He fucking comes in, like shut it down, as if he has authority to do that. Like he's just he's a citizen's arrest of uh, bar closures. He just walks in, shut it down, shut it down, and that's it. So imagine we're at the bar. I'm like, is that a snot rocket? <laughs> and I'm like, who, ca who cares, man? The alcohol kills the germs. I'm sure you can't give me COVID twice. And I'm, and I'm about to take a sip when... <laughs> bah! Uh, and so uh, what are our options to eat? <laughs> Chipotle or Domino's? Chipotle or Domino's? Oh, we are going Chipotle, home, Chipotle. and we are going to drink vodka straight from the bottle, and we will have <laughs> Domino's delivered. I ain't going to no... Uh, is that, is, that, is that the stop on the way? I don't know. Because Chipotle's... The, the, really, the decision that we have here is, do we pick it up on the way, or do we get it delivered. delivered? And I would say it's a stop on the way. If we're leaving a bar and we're hungry... Like it's it's because we had ordered I'm, food. I'm and not then, and I'm then not real. We got we got about cock food. on bar food. 
I mean, but 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 also, I'm probably not at the bar for the food. But the thing is, when your bar no, has you, food, then people stay longer the, and they yeah, spend yeah, more that, money. Doesn't on it say that food. we ordered food and John it, Taffer yeah, shut down we, the bar? It says John Taffer just shut down the bar you were at and you didn't get your food. So we are expecting food. Yeah. Well, and what, then we got cock blocked. Right. Got cook blocked. Cook block. <laughs> shut it down. <laughs> uh, I feel like we're bring we're, me the head of Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're picking up on the way home. I, I I I don't think we're waiting to get to a place and then order or ordering and then waiting. I will I will go wherever you want, but just understand my relationship with the idea of after a massive disappointment, me going through any kind of line whatsoever. I mean, again, we are we are imagining that we are able to get it as fast. As it is, re like, like you can make, yeah, you can make a mobile order on the app and pick yeah. something up. So it's like at the bar, we're making the mobile order and then we're picking it up. Literally, I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say yes to Chipotle only so that we can drive back and just chuck it right at John Taffer's head <laughs> and say, Katie Dirk sends her regards. I'm glad you said full, full, full doxing. <laughs> Full doxing. You just said her entire whole name. Oh, I didn't know I did that. She's a, she's a fabulous. <laughs> she loves the show. I mean, uh, uh, no, or, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, <laughs> our, everybody, everybody is still tied to the show, it's and okay. we love Bar Rescue. Hooray! Bar I Rescue. watch. This is why it's. A th I watch Bar Rescue all the time. This is more Bryce. Great. No, 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 no. Great show. Great show. Great show. Uh, all right. So you guys are picking Chipotle. Yes. Yes. All righty then. Let's go to our final matchup. Brett, well, who are our final two competitors here in this competition? Well, we've got uh, the uh, good old Taco Hell, Ooh. and we have Chipotle. Hipster. Wow. Whoa. Both, both the Taco Bell and Chipotle in the that final. moment, you find out you have Arguably a type. Mexican food. Both, yeah. both famous for making you shit. Yes. Right? right? <laughs> both have shit reputations. One owned by Coca-Cola, the other owned by Pepsi-Cola. True. That's right. Is oh, no, 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 not one of them is McDonald's. No, it's not. Chipotle's no. McDonald's? No? No, I think that's an urban legend. It's its own yeah. thing. It used to be, I'm hearing, uh, but... Uh, it's not an urban legend. Like, it's not... Well, when it's not, it's a real legend. When everyone says it and it's not right... I mean, when I'm saying it, it's a rural legend. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, can you make, a, you make your final prompt here it's, in the monster. Wait, so, so what is the difference between an urban legend and a rural legend? Don't answer that, because I can think of a million, a million bad ways this can go. Justin, um, I, don't I, I you know I how your girls make the question. I rescind the question. I rescind the question. We're pulling it from the timeline. All right. What is uh, there? By the way, by the way, uh, we have several. This is our last one, Bryce? Yes, that's correct. So we have several things left in here. Yeah. So I'm going to give you the option to rapid fire. Oh, if okay. you don't like this, okay. you, can, you can ask for a new one. Okay, ready. All right. It's 3 a.m. and you just want one specific menu item. Mm. Baby. So do you, uh, we, we can look for another I one. I know, I know that's the comedically right thing to do, but... But, but you just want to <laughs> say Mexican pizza. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Spoiler alert for the I'll, next I'll, five I'll minutes. Say, I'll say next. <laughs> I'll say next. We're ripping this up. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so nice outside. Let's go eat outside somewhere. Bryce. <laughs> uh, would you like would you like to would you like to next, pick? Next, next, next. Thank you. That Here, would have been um, that probably would have been Chipotle. Yeah, it would have been Chipotle. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm, I'm looking over the rest of the options that are here and I'm wondering. Got a shot at the doctor's office, and you were both. Very brave. <laughs> <laughs> I like that this scenario has Brian and I like Muppet baby style, just like being carted around and doing everything together. Oh, he's taking his shoes taking off. His no! <laughs> no! Leave those socks on, you filthy motherfucker. You better leave, leave those, those socks, socks on. on. Leave them on. Oh, man. We have one more. One more if you say next. Next. All right. Next. That one would have been Mexican pizza. You're both very brave. <laughs> oh, I think you're going to like this one. This should be good. Final. Final scenario. I'm ready. 
you just finished voting. And it was like 40 minutes quicker than you thought it would be. Just the idea of that has made Brian Brushwood orgasm in his pants on stage. <laughs> just, just excited about. Just the idea of it has made Brian Brushwood <laughs> orgasm his pants. Rock on. <laughs> the cum filled underwear of the mask receiver, a menace to society. Uh, Your Jay Jonah is actually a really good Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> yeah. Snurly get me pictures of Spider-Man. Why isn't Spider-Man's pictures on my desk right now? Uh, it's got This web head menace needs to be stopped. It's got to be Taco Bell, right? That's, that's a treat. That's a reward. I feel like we, we were Both very you brave. you and I know. We were very brave. Oh, oh. Yokiero Taco Bell, baby. Yeah. 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 Good game, Bryce. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you so much uh, uh, to all of the brands involved. Please don't sue us. Uh, <laughs> if you've got an idea for a game or a bit, please send it into our email, greatnightpod at gmail.com. It's where you can send in an idea for something. Maybe if you've got an idea for a punishment, if you got a high thought or an email, question, all sorts of stuff, greatnightpod at gmail.com or check the show notes of wherever you're watching this. Thank you. Hells yeah. Uh, should we uh, get an update on uh, how everything's going 500 years ago? I think we should. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get Brett up here. Oh, okay. Ooh. Let's get Brett up here. And actually, I'll tell you what. We might actually have another another special guest who does not know that she is an expert in the topic we are about to talk about. Uh, Spider-Man. <laughs> but uh, here in the Austin area... As we talked about last week, I think which everyone, yeah, I um, there is a Renaissance fair, and uh, uh, Brett, you mentioned uh, camping out with him. Did, did, did you camp out last week? Uh, no, I did not. But I did for the previous two weekends. Before. The previous two weekends, and that was enough. That well, no, because <laughs> I've got. I've got a whole season pass, so there's... Uh, Wait, there's, how, so how long does this one run? Uh, eight weeks. Oh, you've been... Eight, eight weeks. Weekends, yeah. You've been sufficiently seasoned... That's long, right? <laughs> past, in the past. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Flarf, was, uh, Flarf was six. Yeah, this is eight, eight weekends. Uh, so... Uh, a, a, expansive. A, yes. How, how many of them do you intend to sleep uh, uh, like With. a hobo? <laughs> not like a hobo, like a homeless person. I mean, no, there's a difference. No, a uh, hobo is somebody who chooses a life on the silver rails. I'll, I'll bring my bindle he's, with he's, me. Yeah, and, homeward uh, bound. And, yeah, and a half of the cigarette butt. Cigarette. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cigarello. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, well, so so uh, 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 top five surprises that people don't realize about Austin's Renaissance scene that don't involve taints. Go. Okay, well, they've, they're really good at making this drink called Loki, Go which on. is a is almost like a moonshine type uh, situation. That when you say like almost a, like, is that code for it's moonshine? A, a flavored moonshine. Okay. Uh, which is actually quite delicious, and everybody wants to share it out in the, the camping grounds. Really? Yep. Yep. So, like, I brought drinks. I'm like, hey, I brought wine. They're like, Fuck that. We so wait, wait, they, they, they're, they're just drinking grain alcohol, or does it have a flavor to it? It has a flavor to it. Okay. You know, much like from Justified. It's like, here, have some apple pie. I'm gotcha, like, oh, okay, yeah. cool. Let's do that. But you're not going to die by way of Margot Martindale's No, hands. it's it's probably just like like a good standard alcohol that then they put shit in. And when you say flavor, it's not like it tastes like despair or something. I mean, when you're sitting at okay. that. I, I, I think I got okay. my answer. <laughs> Yeah, because also it's like as we've discussed, Rennies are Carney's meet uh, Burning Man. Sure, yes, and I don't like at Burning Man somebody somebody at Burning Man has caviar because right. like it's it's sure. obtuse and bizarre and usually rich people go there. Uh, With Carney's, they're gonna figure out a way that if you squirt Tabasco sauce into hypnotic, it tastes like it tastes Miller Lite better. or whatever, sure. right? Sure, sure, like. Like they, they are they are frontier mixologists. Yes. Do do you have to worry about theft? Like do you, do you bury gold behind your tent? <laughs> 
I can't say. That. <laughs> I, I, I mean, don't tell me where, but like, are, are you burying your val I valuables? I could say, like, we, we talked about this before. You had asked me what's the most expensive thing that I've that I've left at the campground. Your dignity. And, yes. No. I'm here. <laughs> uh, uh, no. Uh, it and it was my bod run, my yes. drum. Yeah. Uh, um, other than that, I mean, I keep the tent that's there, and so it's still there. Hopefully, the how long? How long does it is it is it going? The the Renaissance Fair. It's it's uh, five more weekends. Five yeah. more weekends. Yeah. Eight. Shit. Yeah. No, Rachel. All right, here. Get up here, Rachel. Rachel. Ladies and gentlemen, Rachel. Rachel! Yeah. For world's greatest con. Yeah, she is. She is the world's There's greatest. Not con. a single fact that uh, she's uh, missed. Fact checker, but also. Uh, we went to high school together. I was once president, as were you, of the Paladin Society, <laughs> which was a medieval recreation show where we um, dressed up in garb. Nice. And we would go to our high school, and we sure. did not get bullied as Jeff walked around. <laughs> <laughs> and I had like a full dress and a bodice, but I did not have boobs yet. And so, yeah, we just walked yeah. around inappropriately at school and like. Uh, 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 eat, 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 eat the mic a little bit. Yeah, while you're sorry, there. sorry. Yeah, that's uh, okay. Uh, you want to know? You know what was weird is that we actually got bullied less. I know because when you're a nerd, they know how to make fun of you. But when you're dressed all fucked up, they have no idea what to latch on to. It yeah, it is. They're gonna be weird. like, "What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna bring yeah. my way?" It's like, like well, I, I know I, what I'm dressed like, as. Am I gonna call you the F slur twice? Like. <laughs> <laughs> Like you were doing that while I was wearing ill-fitting jeans. Like if I'm wearing tights and, and a pirate shirt, like there's nothing else you can do. The worst thing they would do is just nice tights, and you're like, thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> a nice strut. So with my <laughs> pubescent penis in full <laughs> display. Did we need that detail? What's that? <clears throat> they didn't ask for it <laughs> either. Edible That's penis right. industrial complex. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, we, so uh, I was we trying to explain that there, yeah. there was a lot of of carnies. Yes, yeah. carnies. Is sure. You were asking me about boondocking. Uh, well, no, because <laughs> for other reasons. But uh, <laughs> but no, here's so he was uh, uh, telling a tale of uh, uh, the after hours. Yes, Rennie, like situation. Uh, Holy mushroom tea. Yeah, That's self brewed. <laughs> I mean, I, I was a child. I should not have been there. No, 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 no. <laughs> so I was a, a acne festooned uh, uh, boy. Uh, you were a, a young woman during uh, 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 those periods. How would you describe what it's like in, in that Rennie society to have the, the Rennie culture just gaze upon you, wondering whether or not you are going to be interested in so wearing my bodice with nothing to show and a guy comes up creepy old man comes up to me and so says, why are you looking at me like that <laughs> i'm just <laughs> i'll look at you Brian. no yeah. no yeah it's, yeah, okay. yeah. it's, it's fine it's a 20 dollar bill and oh. stuffs it in my cleavage and goes that's an awful large denomination for such a small amount and walked away and i was like wow oh. <laughs> so so the point that we can dollars but, but also sexually harassed and insulted yeah but the point that we can get out of that they tip. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> they tip. Oh, fuck you. Okay. Fuck you, Brett. Okay. Just thought I'd put <laughs> that out there. I feel like I'm running laps. I, I can't decide <laughs> what side I'm on. <laughs> so, so what is the maximum value? What is the uh, dollar value of item that you become nervous about leaving behind in or around your tent? Why are you hung up on that? <laughs> right. Because they're carnies. I can no, say plus well, Burning Man, so they might say, actually they might have, have money. Their own money. Right, yeah. right, 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 the group, right, right. The right. group that I'm hanging with, I don't really have to worry about anything. Though my favorite uh, uh, stick, uh, which it got stolen while I was there, <laughs> was it one that had like Sorry. a dragon? So yeah, no, like, I the had answer that, is zero dollars. It, it was a very cool. Stick got it was a very cool <laughs> stick. I had just bought like a seventy dollar pipe that I was gonna carve in and put you can make it a bong. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Not a bad idea, but in this case, I was just gonna carve out a spot, and then it'll be like Gandalf, where on his staff he's got his pipe that's done. So I put the stick down to watch the washing winches do their thing, and then when I came back, 
it, it was a nice stick. It was oh, but, but that, nice that was just during the fair right. in general, so, not like not but, leaving at your tent or right. anything. Yeah, we will find out what things that I might have lost when I go this next weekend. Yeah, we so, might have to go. I yeah, I think we should. I think. Yeah. We're, I think. As a matter of fact, go. I believe Bonnie has it on our calendar to when? try to go this weekend. Oh, this there weekend. we go. Yeah, we yeah, go, yeah. We go. Okay. Um, oh, shit. I'm going to tell a Renaissance Fair story. Go. Um, so one time, Jess and I were at a Renaissance Fair story. We campfire after, you know, when you're camping. The campfire sure. Around, That's what you do. So on. Yeah. And Justin is, we have to perform because it's a bard circle. Sure. And Justin starts singing Baby Got Back, as he does. And I, backing him up, saying, me so horny. Oh. At, at age 13. And we were both scolded. <laughs> yeah. Very strongly. Did, did they do like a, no. They were like, that is inappropriate. Okay. You can't do that. Yeah. It was that before or after the tip? <laughs> uh, well, so, okay. so, so did did you try to dress up the performance in uh, era appropriate? Uh, uh, no, 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 like no. So this party. this was uh, so we we would do three Renaissance fairs in a year in our like region. We were we would, very cool. We would go. Yeah, <laughs> we were very popular. Uh, so we would go down to the Marathon Key, and they would have a Renaissance Fair. We would do the big one, which was around us. That would go for five weeks. And then there was another one in Miami at Vizcaya, which is a beautiful Spanish like a, a, a house thing right next to where Madonna used to live. And uh, 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 so we would do those three. I think this is at Marathon, if it, I'm remembering yeah. correctly. But that was effectively like an overnight trip. So we would go for one weekend. Cape Coral. That was our Cape Coral one. Oh, was it? Yeah, it was okay. our one-time Cape Coral. This is great fact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just story More of that. Uh, <laughs> so uh, uh, we're there, and so it's like we're all camping out for one night, and so it's just us, the nerds from South Plantation High School, uh, sitting around a campfire, and everybody's doing, like, a fuck. I mean, it's like Talent high show. school shit. Yeah. Like, so it's like the monologue I just learned in drama or the song that I've been practicing on my guitar and blah, blah, blah. Uh I do baby got back because I'm an attention whore and uh Rachel being, always being, have your back being, being the true friend does the me so horny and uh yeah no, we, were, we were we no. were so uh no. I did not know that you had a background in the Renaissance arts uh uh because I, I I was to be honest surprised when I found out how much you instantly took to uh, uh dragon con uh uh how how close because I've always wanted to compare the two uh they're not really comparable like like uh, uh again the renaissance fair is like for the people that love it mm. who really it's, fucking it's real care, time travel are all about it no it's not that like, mm. it is it is about putting on a show it's basically like if you were a really 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 into drama but you are really into live like like immersive theater but also you kind of just really wish this was like real but not in the like projection area in the yeah. like we're all hanging out area like that's really like the, the 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 vein of of the rennie well that, well like, said and well and said. and like for us when we were in high school we were just nerds and that was like the nerd club that existed at our high school and so it's way cooler than just fucking playing band or something yeah like, i mean we like the teacher and so it teacher was, a, was great it was a reason to just eat lunch in his room and dress up once a month and oh. also like the fairs were really fun and and you got to interact with a bunch of people and you got to feel like you were super cool i know a lot about medieval rock and roll. yeah yeah and and also if you were a dude you got to see a bunch of growing Bo boobies yeah. yeah pushed up like constantly. very very high very high boobs yeah uh brett do, do you know like uh what kind of numbers they do out out there uh, or are you allowed to share? Uh, they probably there's probably about eight eight or nine thousand people that go out there per uh, per day. I uh, I think it's about uh, five or six per day. Wow. So ours now does like Star Wars Day, and they're doing like mashups. Do they do that too? Uh, there's there is a one contingent of uh, Star Trek trekkers. Because I don't know if you saw that they were like dressed up in like the kilt and the boba fett was that just our friends or i think that just might be <laughs> I, I have seen no, <laughs> yeah. no i saw boba fett uh not boba fett but the mandalorian oh no 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 i'm sure that there yeah. are, are <laughs> there Texas are other versions similar versions of and, of and i'm already confused I, when yeah. i'm dressed up i'm already confused for a jedi as it is so it makes sense yeah i mean i think that there there's some people who go multiple times and it's like once you do like that this is where it does connect to dragon con or any of those other fan conventions where it's like there's only so many times that you can go as a real character before you need to be 
the twist right yes. stick out and so it's like i i have seen that there are some people that just show up to the renaissance festival in star trek shit and they're like doing the medieval episode of star trek right right uh, and they're doing their own thing which which by the way seems like a crass way to hijack it's like motherfuckers they're not your extras i mean for your look, fantasy look, it, it, it's it's all i mean again when you think of it as everyone's just kind of live form improving yes then the the random wild cards are welcome yeah it's like oh fun we get to do something more than just like also a weird thing about renaissance festivals is that the humor has a weird uh, uh, past to be like very hilariously retrograde misogynist. Yes. Like there's a lot of like, hey, my lady, big tits on ya. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, and, and that's like, and everyone's like, ah, Thank you. like buy a bodice, like <laughs> shove them up further. Uh, uh, the, there's, there's a weird thing. So it's like, in that culture where there's a lot of fucking leeway, then like if there's a Star Trek guy, then I'm sure people who have seen them a few times already have their one-liners to be like, don't violate the prime directive, you can Like, <laughs> yeah. So uh, uh, last question, what, what is the thing that hardcore Renaissance Fair people roll their eyes at, at the Renaissance Fair? I have a mean thing, but it's like for children, like the fairy wings. Like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just, you know, like, like I don't want to be mean to kid. children, but like fairies are real. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you walk around. Yeah, you're like I'm the medieval skeptic. I don't think leeches work at all. I bet all diseases are made from microscopic bacterium. <laughs> Uh, Here, I, eat this mold. That would actually be Rachel's character. <laughs> <laughs> I think half a costume. Uh, I think that's usually like they oh. might have a shirt, a Rennie shirt, and looks great, and then sweatpants. Or and, opposite, and it's chucks. the t-shirt and the kilt, and they just—it's a boy that wants to wear a skirt. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, though I did roll my eyes the last time that I was there it was because there were like the jacked dudes that had the kilts on, and you're like respect. And then there was just some dude with his shirt off. And he and he had his blue jeans and you could tell he had the farmer's tan. Yeah. I'm like, what do we what do What we color hair for? did he have? <laughs> <laughs> I just well, needed him. Yeah, I mean he he had kinda had a like know, a chestnut or yeah, a little bit of chestnut with a little bit just a little bit of gray <laughs> okay. in it. And he was he was a, a not a her suit, but you know, he looked like he, he did all right, but it didn't really make sense. A little sheen of right. sweat on Just him. a little yeah, bit. He's just a little, just a little oiled. Please yeah. clip this so we can do our compilation of Thirsty Bryce at the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to do some jokes. But he had his shoes <laughs> off, uh, so that was weird. Uh, no, I, I, I want to encourage it, which is a bad way for me to encourage it, but look, <laughs> we'll see what we, happens. we don't, life's a river. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, the only thing I would guess is just people who get too shit faced. Like, like, like it is like any other party. Yeah. Everyone's having a good time. Yeah. You're having a better time if everyone's kind of fucked up. Nobody likes the dude who is like falling down. Yeah. Yeah. And, and especially because the guy that's falling down is very rarely good at improv. And on a soft level, the entire Renaissance Fair is predicated right. on everybody on, kind on, of yes on, on the shared fantasy that yes. is happening. Yeah, that it's like, the, like yeah, and, and so those people don't play along, and that is just kind of the turd in the punch bowl where like everything else can be dealt with. Like you can have somebody say like, "You're not Henry the Eighth," and he'll just go like, "I don't talk to peasants." <laughs> And yeah. like it's hilarious. It, like it's a very fun time. He's like, well, my wife Anne Boleyn would confirm it had I not chopped off her head. Exactly. And he pulls out a six shooter and goes. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> he just pulls out an AK and just <laughs> fires off a bunch of rounds into the air. <laughs> and he goes, Autobots transform, <laughs> free Ukraine. <laughs> Sounds like All Captain right, Morgan. Brett, <laughs> Brett, take us out of here. What did we learn today? Well, we learned that inside of all of us there's a little oh, bit of a fan of the Ren Fair. Night. Yep. We found out that you know I really need to find uh, uh candidates for Bryce uh this weekend. <laughs> uh I've yeah, I've learned bury, bury them outside of your bedouin. I, I've, I've learned that there is definitely a difference between South Florida 
and Central Florida. Fuck yeah, dude. And, and I don't uh, see it actually. And also, we've learned that uh, you know one of us is a really bad fucking tipper. I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, look, we love you guys. Shine on you, Crazy Diamond. It's been like a great night. <laughs> Just my friend, the pain never ends the moment you walk away. Here. You want you want to work? my fingers in a door repeatedly. Twerk it, feels it, twerk just it, the twerk same. it, twerk it, twerk it, twerk it. My stanky oh. leg, stanky leg. <laughs> my leg got stanky when he played the Captain Morgan night. podcast for me. <laughs> Just a shitty Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank all of you. I appreciate all of you. Here is some blues. I like movies. You are not anything but a hound dog. I fucking like movies, my guy. <laughs> we love you guys. See There's never been a greater great night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>